I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with the victorious Shabazz, Masood Shabazz. It's a nice belt round your shoulder, man. How are you feeling right now? Oh, I'm buzzing, uh, just out of this world. I just want to say, Alhamdulillah, all oh, praise be to Allah, you know what I mean? This is a long time coming. A, l a lot of people didn't believe, a lot of struggles happened on the way, a lot of downfalls, but my team believed in me. And uh, we said to people, this is going to be easy work. I will show everyone, and everyone's laughing and saying this and that and this and that. My team believed in me. I just want to say a massive thank you to my family, to my uh, father ever. The biggest thank you I do want to say though well, is, yeah, he's here, he's here. <laughs> but the biggest thank you I want to say is my, uh, my stable. I want to say a massive thank you, Ben Davidson, Lee Wiley. Them, them lot know how good I am. My stable mates know how good I am. And finally, I get to show the world how good I am. I hope everyone appreciates it as well. I'm sure they did, because like I said to you two days ago, for the pure, purest boxing fan, yeah. you've got two young, hungry kids yeah. who have got a great skill set. They're, 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 they're going to gel together, and that's yeah. exactly what it did now. For you and Jack, that was a coming out party, because yeah. you've got two undefeated fighters. Yeah. I mean, I, for me, maybe a final eliminator doesn't do it justice. You should have yeah, been for British Out, but that's what it is, exactly. But... Is that your coming out party? Are you ready to announce yourself to the European world stage now? 100%. I, I believe I'm world level already. I'll be honest with you. Ben thinks that. Lee Wiley thinks that. Ben manages me. He decides what I do next. So we'll see our options. But I genuinely think I could beat anyone. Talk to me about the fight itself. I mean, Jack was more on the front foot a little bit. A little bit more. Yeah. Throwing a lot of punches that one getting to home. But you were more of the cleaner work. You were tagging him yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. Going through the rounds. I heard that one of the judges, I don't know if this is true or not, but I did hear that one of the judges had Jack up going in the 12th round by one, one round. So how comfortable were you going back to Ben and Lee Wiley in that corner after every round, knowing that you had won and you were winning the fight? I swear to God, I was going back and I was saying, I'm cruising it, I'm cruising it. I put a few rounds late on, I took a little round off, just have a little, just try win the round, get through, and then I was picking it up the next round. Uh, we had a good game plan because uh, Jack... Jack throws a lot of shots, you know what I mean? So we had a good game plan coming in and uh, our game plan worked with T. It seemed to have worked in that 12th round, uh, the right hand as Jack was coming in. Yeah. T to be honest with you, uh, the game plan, if I stuck to the game plan a bit better, I would have got him out earlier. But I was going off for doing fancy little slides, dips here, there and everything. But you get, you get a bit carried away, but, uh, but it is what it is. I, the game plan still worked. I got the job done. And uh, initially it did start, it was, a, it was a good performance, alhamdulillah. Like I said, you were tagging him throughout the rounds and some of the rounds, he was coming forward with his head down on you, we were throwing some clean on, shots. Man. And then going into that 12th round though, did you think, yeah, this is going to distance, I'll, I'm going to cruise this a unanimous decision. Did you ever think that, I mean, it seems to be a thing in this gym, going that 12th the, round. Yeah, going into the 11th, Ben was giving me shit, he was like, he goes, he goes, it's worked, what you've been doing all the way, he goes, you need to just step on him a little bit more. As soon as I started stepping on him, like, some that we worked on in the game plan was working straight away, slip, bang, it came on. He walked straight onto it, put him down, stepped to him, got him out of there. When a fighter knocks a fighter and a fighter down, they they know how badly that fight was. Maybe a flash knock down or they know how did you know Jack was That's hurt heavy. now? Yeah. It's heavy man. Everyone everyone say he can't punch, I swear I got punch, especially when I got the grandson. <laughs> I, you said to me when I interviewed you this week, you said your words were, my, heart, my focus is 100% on Jack, yeah. I don't look past Jack. Well, you've won, now you can look past Jack. Liam down. Davis is the British... Wait, 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 wait. I beat Liam Davis That's, that's, that's a, my question. As a, young, as a young kid, I beat him twice. Like, if, if he wants to ever do it as a pro, I'd do him again, you know what I mean? But yeah. you see what the crack is, you know what I mean? But like I said to you, he's fighting for that European title yeah, as well, exactly. so it could be more to this than just yeah. that British title, so it could be the European title on that now. I know Ben and Lee Wiley yeah. will probably hold you back a little bit, but that European title, if you win that in your next fight, that's almost that stepping stone to that fringe world level. You ready I, for that? I'll be honest with you. I think, I think Jack's world level, and I, I think this fight has showed that I'm world level as well, so it's about the same thing. But if that fight's there, I'd take that fight. I'll fight anyone. And I think you've proved that tonight, taking on somebody like Jack, who's 17 and 0, and up and coming. I'm only 10 and 0. I'm only 10 and 0. Which 10 and 0 do you know gets in with the 17 and 0? And as talented as Jack, I think Jack's were level. Other people won't fight him. But I got in there and I showed him what I'm about. 
That was a great fight to watch. Like I said to you, and like it's it's for me as a purist, I like when you see two young kids going at it because. It's a lesson. Even though Jack lost, but he can still come again. He's still young and hungry. 100%. He can come again. He's a great fighter. He's a very nice lad. I even felt bad. I said to him straight away, I said, sorry about the press sorry. conference and stuff. And like, I go, I've heard you're one of the nicest kids in boxing. I go, I didn't mean to go on like that. He goes, look, mate. He goes, we get caught up in our feelings. It's boxing. But nothing but respect. He's a very nice kid. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I even said to him, I go, if I could ever come down these, we'll go get some food. So it's cool. Oh, some sparring, maybe not food. Come on. <laughs> Uh, he wants to get back, he's saying if you ever win a world title, we want that rematch. I was there like, well, there you go. Yeah, listen, one final one, I think if your dad could lift that trophy up, that I like to see him trophy. This is, if you could just explain this. He was our explain little brother, man. He was our little brother, sadly passed away. May Allah grant him the highest ranks in Jannah and uh, inshallah, I'll dedicate this win to him as well. Yeah. Well, listen, go and enjoy the rest. And I know you've got uh, a lot of family members here that are absolutely excited with that win and, and you've got a lot of media to do as well. One so. thing, turn the camera, the, our, our main man, the analysis, Lee Wiley, does not get enough credit for what he does. This man, every fighter in our gym, big fights, big wins, and there's 12 round knockouts over there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lee, 12 round knockouts, baby. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Well Come on, and the new. I'm going to share something with you that might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.